Political games in Malaysia continue despite calls for a ceasefire. UMNO, the largest party in Prime Minister Mohidin Yassin's ruling coalition, has called a meeting of its Supreme Council. Speculation is rife. It will choose a deputy prime minister candidate to shore up its standing in the grouping. Members of Anwar Ibrahim's uh, Pakatan Harapan coalition have also met to discuss their next move after the prime minister's request for emergency rule was denied by the king. The deal-making comes ahead of parliament meeting next week. The spotlight is on a budget to tackle the fallout from COVID-19. It will be a make-or-break challenge for Mr. Muhyiddin, as Melissa Go explains. It's public holiday and no rest for politicians. Now, Pakatan Harapan, the three-party opposition coalition led by Anwar Ibrahim, met for over two hours this afternoon and issued a joint statement after that. None of the party leaders want to speak to the media. Now, PKR Information Chief Fami Pazil read out a statement urging Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin to heed the King's advice and immediately commence a discussion with the opposition MPs so that Budget 2021 can be passed without a glitch when it's table in Parliament next Friday on November 6. Now, it's urgent. Pakatan Harapan leaders I spoke with said they can't support the budget blindly simply because the King asked them to do so. Now, the opposition certainly reaching out to Prime Minister Muhyiddin for Ikata National Government. Now, Anwar is calling for a bipartisan committee to look into measures post-COVID-19 to resuscitate the economy and so on, including rolling over the debt moratorium till year-end because a lot of businesses are suffering. But some within the government argue that such consultation is not necessary. We'll only slow things down because the king in the statement on Wednesday has never mentioned about consultation or a bipartisan committee. Well, the budget tabling is just a week away and time is running out. If there's going to be any bipartisan efforts, it has to be taken place soon. But the budget, even though it's tabled next Friday, will only come up for a vote the earliest on November 23rd at the policy stage. So it's not immediate. But if Prime Minister Mutin failed to get it passed, then it's sent about to a no-confidence motion, many are saying. And if his government falls, a snap election is maybe inevitable within 60 days. So we'll just have to wait and see.